Okay, well, it's that time of year when it's dark and gray outside, and that can make some people feel really down. So here to shed some light on the winter blahs is the lovely Dr. Kira. Welcome to the show. We are thrilled to have you back. So why in the winter do we start feeling blah? Well, it's dark outside and it's cold and we go to work in the morning and it's dark and we get home and it's dark and we don't have that same circadian rhythm that we need to keep our melatonin and other serotonin factors, like a serotonin is another factor in our brain, that when we don't see the light of day, it gets affected and affects our mood. So, right. yeah, we don't move as much. We don't get as active and we don't, we're not as social in the wintertime. Sure. It's hibernation. Oh, so let's talk about SAD yeah. um, and then let's talk about laws. I mean, they're very different, I'm thinking. Very, very different. So SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, is a sub set of depression and uh, it's something that happens year over year for people that they get really down and depressed like so much so that it's considered a clinical entity whereas the blahs tend to kind of come and go when there's something exciting happening you feel better you don't have that same sense of hopelessness and sadness that really lingers so if it's something like that then you definitely need to take a talk to your doc talk to your doctor, doctor about yeah, that. Absolutely. but the blahs we can take care of ourselves we can, definitely we can do something about and in that in fact anything that I'm going to talk about today will help someone with season seasonal affective disorder but you definitely want to be in contact with your with doctor, your doctor. Perfect. Yeah. So okay. you say the first thing is to get moving. Absolutely. It's one of the best mood-altering uh, effects that we can make uh, in our life uh, is to just get moving. And I've got lots of tips to share. About it's just that. even yeah. being, being physical. I mean, the more you move, how do you feel about that? Is that you just feel better? The more you move, the better you feel, 100%. And so, what are some good tips to get moving? Yeah, so one of the good tips is to make sure you, you aim for success. You plan movement into your day. So, for okay. example, on the way home from work, you would find a gym that's on the way home from work so you don't go into the house and get bundled into your warm coziness. And you're then, absolutely right about yeah. that. If you have to pass your house to get your gym, you're going into the house. You're going to drive in and you're not going to get there. So go as close as you get so right. I go, the one next to your work. Yeah, Do 100%. that and then go home. And get a buddy too. That's it. Research actually shows that when we work with a buddy, it, whether it be a partner, a spouse, yeah. or a friend at work, we're much more successful at maintaining positive lifestyle changes, including exercise. And you're also talking about getting social. You say get out there and start talking to your friends. Absolutely. Being social makes a big difference we're actually sort of linked with our, our bodies need to be social we need to have that connection that ability to give back and communicate and, and have laughter and, and joyful times with and even friends. the winter time you do start to sort of like have it. I mean Chris we're not you know ourselves you know on Friday night we just like well let's just watch Netflix we're already home it's warm you know just leave it at that we but don't call anybody but no you're one saying, like, no one yeah. people, people are like, don't. what happened to you two I know you're still alive because <laughs> I see you on television but you haven't called in months you That's know right. and yeah. it's, it really only happens in the cold seasons absolutely and what happens sometimes is we'll make friends when we're feeling good good when we've just had a social outing we'll make make plans with friends and then you know at the last minute we're kind of feeling down we thought, I don't really feel like going yeah, so we're gonna call yeah, them yeah. Up. and we can as they say you're not feeling well or whatever and you just can the, the plan but the idea is to stick with the plan yeah. because we know that when we when we're in communication when we connect with people we feel loved we feel appreciated and people show us what they what brings the happiness and, you know back into you and the I think you know I think you're right you don't know. lie because I'll become a really good liar anytime <laughs> I make a plan I lie my way out of it right. yeah yeah right. so don't lie just go people. out and do it just do it anyway. Yeah. Go for yeah, coffee. Exactly. I'm not feeling well, but I hear potato chips in the background. It's yeah, crunching, yeah. Right? yeah. We're not that yeah. sick. Oh, no. that yeah. We're not that sick. Yeah. And you say here, um, pump up with vitamins. Yeah, um, so vitamins and minerals are hugely important. And making sure you're getting natural nutrition from the foods that you're eating primarily. And then also some supplements. Which are ones are the most too. important ones? For mood, 100% omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D are hugely important. We don't get enough omega-3 fatty acids in our diet always. We can get it from fatty fish like salmon, uh, walnuts, and from um, sardines. Like chia seeds. Chia seeds. Chia seeds. Yeah, 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 really yeah. good. Flax, Flax seeds. Yeah. Fish oil is the best supplement for the best source, I should say, of omega-3 fatty acids. And what are they doing? Yeah. What's that going to do for the winter blahs? Like, what is the omega is going to do for it? It actually lifts depression. It's shown in science. Yeah, it okay. does. It, really? lifts, okay. it lifts our mood. It, it, yeah. it creates more serotonin, and uh, it helps to trans transport some of those neurotransmitters through the uh, cell cell membrane. Okay. I want to know how much vitamin D do we need? We need a lot more than we think we need, right? Absolutely. I'm so glad you brought that up. If you talk to the world's leading experts at Vitamin D Council, there's a great website from them. Yeah. They're saying 5,000 international right. units a day, and that's what, what I What is the symptom 5, that we're not, might not be getting enough? Like, so if people are home and going, I wonder how, uh, if I'm showing I, I, any signs yeah. of not getting the right, Definitely being deficient in vitamin being D. Being blood, feeling yeah, down. Yeah, so you're down, Absolutely. depressed. Energy levels, yeah. low immune system, getting yeah. sick frequently. Okay. It really 
really impacts all that. That's why it's such, such an important vitamin so for the pumping. winter. And it's D3, yeah. right? D3, D3. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Drops, and it comes in a droplet form. It's yeah. just much easier to take than pills Absolutely. as well. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. And the next yeah. one we have here, I love this one here. Remove happiness interfering factors. What's the most important one to remove? Yeah, well, I think our attitude is the most important one, to be honest with Good you. So one. If, remove your bad attitude. Yeah. Adopt an attitude of gratitude, for example. Oh, because goodness. you can't be unhappy when you're grateful for everything you have. And, yes. you know, go out and give back in the community. Another one is alcohol. Sometimes people use alcohol as a way. Oh, I'm not accepting that way. one. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put the next one yeah. here. Yeah. I'll be grateful, but I'm not going to be grateful for losing okay my, white, have, my red wine. It's no okay way. to have some alcohol, but what you don't want to do is use it as a self-medication. Yeah. Right? When you're you sad. When you're sad, oh, gonna, yeah. well, that's going to help me out. Because yeah. it's actually a central nervous system depressant. We know it just it has the exact opposite. Yeah, for the first in drink, it makes you feel a little bit better because you don't, you know, you're just like, that's nice. By the eighth drink, then you're just, you're just crying into your glass. It's just not pretty anymore. I do have a really great point in here. Go to a comedy routine or, you know, or, or go to a comedy act. Absolutely. Or watch was, Stephen and Chris. They're chilling pretty nutty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't say that. You stole my son. I got to be able to decide the house. You're not going to beat me on that one. A bit of laughter going for us. I just want to so, first. Laughter actually affects our immune system. It boosts <laughs> certain neurochemicals. It relaxes our, our body through increased um, circulation. It, yep. it does all kinds of things to, to boost our happiness. It actually affects a lot of different processes. I actually read in our body. somewhere at, some time, at one time if you're feeling sad, take a pen and put it in your teeth because it makes it forces your face to smile. Oh. It puts you in the smile position and then you feel that. a little happier. I tried it, it didn't work, but I just wanted to share it with you. No <laughs> drinking a glass of wine. I just got yeah. cracked yeah. over the wine. <laughs> you're happy. Right? Yeah. All right, so guys, we're going to take a quick break, but Dr. Kira is going to be staying with us and she's telling us which foods to eat to beat those winter blocks that we've just been talking about. Which is, and you don't mean to do it. Back with Dr. Kara, and uh, we're learning about foods that combat the winter blahs. We're yes. trying to get rid of them. Yeah. Well, we so. know these foods are bad for us, but there's a reason why they're bad for us, and that, uh, the reason why they're bad for us at this time of the year, especially. Yeah. So let's get started with chocolate. Yeah. So we'll talk about like the fact that chocolate and, and snacks like that are full of carbohydrates and fat, and they they actually impact the pleasure centers of our brain, and that's why they're so addictive. It's a quick high, yeah. and then yeah. it followed by generally a crash. So people who who you know indulge in that tend to feel a little bit sleepier afterwards, yeah. and and uh, the point. Is, is that you're not getting as much nutrition as you would from a healthy snack as well. It's just full of empty calories. Right. Yeah, and in the yeah. wintertime, we do crave, because I, I, I'm a sugar person, and I yeah. do crave chocolate bars of that, and I know they're bad for me, but yeah. in the winter, I want them more. Yeah. And so why they, do they I? They boost your serotonin level. In the wintertime, it's important, especially because you're not getting as much serotonin from the light, like we talked about earlier. Right. So you're looking for ways to actually self-medicate with food. So it does, right. it yeah. does boost it, but it's so bad for you. It's a you're not, you're not, it's a temporary boost, and in the end, it's just not good. Temporary measure, and, and it, 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 it sort of gives you that chance to ask for more, want for more, because it's right. so tasty, right? Yeah. So you're going to get yeah. another one and another one and another one. This is actually so here's our healthy snack. That looks good, right? Everybody? Equally. Yeah. Good. Equally Come on. tasty, for sure, this snack. Um, so what, yeah. So what this is is organic, as much as possible, organic raisins, uh, coconut, and, uh, and walnuts. walnuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what this does is it fills three of those things that we need to feel satisfied by food. It has healthy fat, yeah. fiber, and protein. So okay, the thing so that we're missing in here is probably the fiber, right? We're not really, and the yeah. healthy fat. It's yeah, bad fat. There's a lot of stuff missing in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, still no. trying to hang on to some thread that I can have one. <laughs> no. But this is equally delicious, you'll notice. Yeah. But it, it's also full of uh, lots of antioxidants and yeah. good chemicals like the vitamin Bs. It actually helps with your immune system. Coconut is known to be antibacterial, antiviral. Yeah. So it's a really great snack, particularly for the winter around cold and flu season. Okay, that's and awesome. Smaller so it's portions warm you are up. better for this. As well. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, you know, I, I do eat nuts and I love them, <laughs> but then I, if I eat that whole bowl, it's kind of not, it's a it's lot. Too much. Yeah. You got to have the portion it out, portion leave the rest in the closet, yeah. in the cupboard, and, and practice discipline as well. It's discipline no, it's is no like when you're full because sometimes muscle. it's just the actual, act, you know, the act of eating yeah. rather than the fact. Like I've been full yeah. a long time ago, but I just love yeah. doing this for yeah. some yeah. reason. Yeah, but you know? this will actually satisfy you if you give it a few minutes to settle in rather than just going for more and more. Now let's, yeah, talk about probably the biggest culprit. That says potato chips, right? Yeah. And yes, we do crave them. Yeah. I mean, I think always that Crispy well, does, delicious. right? They make us, they're, they're so great when you hibernate. Yeah. I mean, like when you're sitting at home, you're not talking to any of your friends. All you want is a chip. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want a friend. Actually, you want a chip. They, they are my they friends. They fantasize about eating chips. <laughs> I People do. fantasize. They think, when am I going to eat those chips? And because they're so tasty. They're tastier than anything that could be found in nature. That's part of the problem. Food yeah, scientists yeah. know what they're doing when they're creating these unhealthy snacks. Yeah. Because you can't just have one, yeah. right? That's very true. Yeah. Oh, you There's can't. There's nothing yeah. in a tree that's actually going to be as tasty growing on a 
a tree no. or onto the ground is going to no. be tasty as exactly. that chip. Well, exactly. these are actually oh, amazing. Yeah. I do enjoy these. Kill so, chips. I yeah. want those, So right? a lot of people turn up their noses, including one of our producers, Karen. Mm -hmm. She was like, eh, eh, and then <laughs> no. she tried when she came back. Kira, I tried it. It's really good. So yeah. she loved it. They're delicious. She's lying to you. So <laughs> That's funny. They are awesome because they can be seasoned a thousand ways. Season, there's a ton of recipes. We make them at home in our dehydrator. You can make them in you the oven. You dehydrator. That's we what do. I want to get. It's, yeah. it's amazing. I'll tell you which one to get. It's okay. really great. Um, but yeah, they're full of B vitamins, oh. full of fiber and protein. Really good for the winter because there's an antioxidant effect. So again, you're going to get sick less often. Therefore, yeah. you're not going to feel as blah because everybody knows when you're feeling sick, you feel blah. And right? you're getting exactly. just that motion, that crunch that, you know, well, and you again, it's it, like my yeah. It's just as, you, as, you, as, it's the same crunch. Yeah, and they're delicious. Just yeah. don't eat it before a really important meeting before brushing your teeth. Oh, you oh, get really? all that. Yeah. Well, oh. green in your teeth. Oh, like, for yeah. sure. It's a given. Right. Yeah. Okay. The next is really interesting here. This is called the... Yeah, right? Right now. This is called the Viralex Happy Light Liberty XKS Energy Lamp. Yes. Let's talk about this. So we're, we're deficient in light. It's, mm -hmm. uh, like I talked about earlier with the circadian rhythm, this attempts to reproduce the light that we should be getting from outdoor activities okay. Okay. in the wintertime. So what you on. do is you use that for half an hour every day. It doesn't really matter what time of day as long as you get that. No longer than half an hour, just that what length of time. Go, what happens if you go longer than half an hour? You go insane. <laughs> time it like yeah. it's got to stop right now. Well, you want to do other things like exercise. Actually, you could, you could do both at the same time. You can exercise with the light sort of close by yeah. as well. Can yeah. you have this on your, at your desk if you work with that kind absolutely. of thing? Yes. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I've seen that thing on your desk. Yeah. This, this, I read an, an article in Women's Health Magazine, which is my favorite magazine. And, uh, and I'm not lying. Shocking. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're quick. That's awesome. Oh, you are good. You are good. Yeah. Yeah. If you're working in a cubicle and you have nothing in there and you put flat, fresh flowers in you, your work performance will go up 26%. So I it just goes that. to show that you're happier, you probably feel better. Yeah. So what did you want to talk about? It? Well, it, it boosts your mood. There's actually a study that was shown that, that when people receive flowers versus like a candle or a basket of fruit, they were happier to receive them. Every single one of the people had this kind of smile on their face called a Duchenne smile that it signifies extreme happiness. And those people that received the, ha the flowers stayed happier for longer as well. So there's a lasting effect. Great yeah. job. Thanks so much for being on the show. I love having you here. You are so fun. I love Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> guys, we have a fantastic gift you all. Listen to this, guys. Everyone in the audience is going home with a beer like happy light liberty, guys. This will improve your mood and energy, fight fatigue, and alleviate the winter blog. And go to our website for more information about this fantastic product. Thanks again for being on the show. Beautiful. Great job. 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 Great